Hey everybody, it's Game Rogi. We're back with Metroid Prime. Last time we uh, did some things, we went through the frigate, through some nice music, and now we're in the Space Pirate Mining Facility, shooting crazy uh, wave beam pirates and uh, getting irradiated slowly. Watch out, Samus, so your hair's gonna fall out. How do I get. What is this? What am I looking at here? Can I blow this up? Oh, oh well. Oh, oh well. On your butt there, Shadow Pirate. Oops, I missed. Uh oh. Look at that cool sword thing. So nice. I like it. When do I get a fancy Vorpal sword? Uh oh. I crashed the wrong parte. Scanned you all. Okay. Prepare to die! Oops. I somehow hit one and then shot the other one. Oops, and then like okay. What's in there? Do I want to know? Unit ident code EPG X642 uh, batch 23. Field designation Elite Pirate Alpha. Stasis tank hull reinforced with bendesium alloy. Oh, that's a good thing. Don't want that thing popping out of there. Uh, but if it does, then it has bendesium. In which case, I can take it. I mean, not bend. I mean, the thing that breaks bendesium. Yeah. <laughs> Recommended battle systems for elite pirates are as follows: shoulder-mounted plasma artillery cannon, repulsion shield, wave quake projector, energy siphon system, and retractable wrist bayonets. Oh, is that what those are? Retractable wrist bayonets. I think, uh, I think, uh, Vorpal Sword sounds a lot cooler. Initial Project Helix experiments with space pirate embryos were disastrous. Disastrous. I put an eye in there. The phase on infusion process des degenerated brain tissue even as it augmented muscle mass. None of what we have termed elite pirates lived to maturity. The few that survived their infanthood suffered severe psychotic breakdowns as juveniles, killing anything within their zone of perception. Research team Sclera uh, made a recent breakthrough in which parasite studies with a phazon strain codenamed Vertigo were highly successful. Since then, we have successfully fused Vertigo phazon with space pirate DNA with great success. The latest batch of elite pirates have reached maturity successfully and are ready for field testing and training. Oh god. They just, they call them space pirate embryos or infusing them with Phazon. They care not for their own species. Space pirates, calm down. I guess we call them human embryos too though. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Platform systems active. Doot, 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 doot. Hmm. Could have stair systems active. Or elevator systems active. You know. We're not all leapy leap leaps around here. Okay, guys. Bring it on. Doing a pincer maneuver? Not gonna work. Gonna work. <laughs> See? I'm afraid that elite pirate's gonna get out of his thing. Oh boy. Security alert, all stations. Bioform Samus Aaron has made planet fall on Talon 4. The hunter is among us. All units are hereby ordered to attack Aaron on site. Terminal force is authorized. Report all sightings of Aaron to security command at once. Or you can just shoot her. 
platform systems active once again how many platform systems are there in this room I shall continue my ascent unabated hmm. hi there oh you're a new one a power trooper space pirate armed with power beam technology space pirates have reverse engineered several of your weapons including the power beam a uh, flaw in the design makes these pairs vulnerable to their own beam weapons. Weapons of infinity and shades of iron and scrap open. Pardon me. I don't know how to read all of a sudden. Ugh. Ugh. But it's okay. It said almost exactly what the other one said. Again, weak to his own beam. Space pirates, come on. Attention all units, report to your battle stations. Failure to comply with this order is an act of treason. Treason is punishable by termination and or death and or experimentation upon. I'm just adding things on there. Hey! Industrial grade pulse beam mining configuration. Well, perfect. I'd like to do some mining. You know, gotta build that diamond sword of mine. Industrial pulse beam online auto firing mode engage auto fire. Um, you know. surface integrity at 42%. Presence of thermal power signature detected. Further pulse beam exposure could cause collapse. Perfect. 13%. 44%. 33%. 31. Why am I scanning these? 8%. Ooh, that's gonna break right now. Um, how must I turn you? Is there things here to turn? Oh, right, there's a spinner thing. I forgot. Okay. And then we scan away. All right, we'll just break all of these. Skinny, skinny. What's in there? Nothing? Oh, wait a minute. What are those little particles? Is that because it's really hot in here? Is it getting hot in here? <laughs> I don't even remember what game that's from. Vigilante 8, maybe? Hello. <laughs> and I had to go almost the entire way around. Jeez. Talk about your cold shoulder. That has absolutely nothing to do with anything. Okay, I think we blew up every thing. Let us go. Uh oh. Careful now. Easy to oh yeah. Easy does it. Don't wanna get don't wanna get circled. Oh, it's got electric. Oh. Can I scan it? Okay. <laughs> oh, it's this room! I think I remember this. It's like a cool puzzle, right? I like cool puzzles. Hi. Hang on. I don't have my correct beam. Ugh. 
what? You're gonna get the full force of the one shot. One shot. He got one shot. Ooh. Uh huh. Uh yes. This is a rotation control unit for the lower section of the pillar. It requires power to operate. Fantastic. Look at this cool little hologram. Ugh. This hologram represents the central pillar in this room. It contains several rotating sections. They can be moved to gain access to different areas. Rotation of the pillar will alter the path of the magnetic rail track. <sighs> okay. Well, it looks like none of them really match up to go all the way where I want them to be. Except for blue. That doesn't require any twisty turny. Except, uh, yeah, it does. It needs to be turned once. Wait, there's no power. Hang on. Eh? Eh? Okay. Where's your power module? Meaning conduit. How do I power you? Oh. Wait a minute. Am I just supposed to bomb in there to power it? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was overthinking. So blue is the lowest of the levels. Let's go. Blue is the lowliest color that you ever spot a ball up. Uh oh. This is where they're gonna get tricky on me here. Oh. Next one I want is red. I think, maybe. Whoop. Whoops. <laughs> I like this puzzle. It's nice. Whoa, missed my exit. Look how cool this is. My god. Super puzzle solving extraordinaire. That's what we like to call Samus. She prefers bounty hunter extraordinaire, but we all know she's a puzzle solver extraordinaire. Hey, I have the right beam already. You're in for it, buddy. Ah. Look where they hide that one. Okay, I could go in here. Oh, there's three different doors in this room. Okay, I think we're gonna check this out first. <laughs> See where it goes. Oh God, what? What is this? Oh no. <laughs> That's gonna be a pain to get back up. I suppose I could shoot them from here. Where am I going? Phase on mines level two. Uh, hang on. I'm not ready for level two. I missed things. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I hit that. Just keep going. Okay, okay. Whew. I thought it would knock me all the way down. Truth be told, it didn't. Oh. Bendesium. It had to be Bendesium. Well. Okay, then. Looks like we didn't miss anything after all. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump down like a crazy person! Ow. Level 2 it is! Take me up, uh, down. Take me down. Oh, wow. Are we... That's the crater! Dude, we're right next to the crater right now. Oh, no wonder there's so much phase on e craziness here. Ouch. 
Oh boy. Is that poison gas? See, this is why you send canaries. And by canaries, I mean canary marys. Uh oh. Hey, calm down. Buddy. Hmm. As I suspected, two space pirates. Hey, look, they're actually mining rock. Look, they put the rock in the in the thing. Good for you. Good for you, miners. Uh oh. Yeah, this is not gonna turn out well for me. Uh oh. Dude, how'd you do that? Elite pirate, phase on enhanced space pirate, incredibly strong, armored and well armed. Elite pirates are potent for uh, potent foes. <laughs> Their energy siphon system absorbs beam weapon shots. The nature of the system makes them vulnerable to concussion-based weapons. Well armed, the elite pirate is effective in close combat and at a distance. Their massive size can be a weakness, and their sluggish speed allows for evasion and quick attacks. Alright, show me what that is. Uh, artillery cannon unit has extremely extreme thermal signature due to lack of shielding. Cannon connected to energy siphon systems uh, to augment performance. Avoid beam weapon fire when energy siphon unit is active. Okay. As I charge my beam weapon immediately. That's why I'm doing it. Oh, that's when you don't want to shoot. Okay. Oh, he absorbed my my thing. <laughs> oh god. Evasion. Evasion. Right in the face. Oh man, that wasn't too bad actually. <laughs> I guess two super missiles uh, hurts quite a bit. Are you okay? He's dead! A shipment of military grade plasma artillery cannons is en route to Talon 4. Uh oh! I don't want those. The Eginoid Star Marines. Eginoid? Uh, we acquired from them. We're letting them sit in our ware in a warehouse. Our lead pirates, on the other hand, will put them to good use very soon. Don't say that. Please don't fight me. I'm I'm reading your se secrets. Investigations into a possible ingress point for the impact crater continue to meet with failure. The shield of strange energy that protects it is impermeable, and all attempts to tunnel past it have proven fruitless. Our continued futility in this matter is made all the more significant in light of the recent lifeform readings we've discovered emanating from deep within the crater. Analysis of the readings indicates that a massive creature is gestating there, absorbing enormous amounts of phazon from the phazon core at the heart of the impact crater. This discovery makes accessing the crater doubly important. Not only will it open the door to vast deposits of phazon within, but it will also lead us to this creature, whatever it may be. Oh yeah, it sounds like a great idea. It's the worm! Security command issued an all points alert after the fall of Zebus. The alert concerns Bioform Samus Aaron, also known as the Hunter. Subject is a female hominid and is heavily armed and extremely dangerous. Subject uses a powered armor suit of unknown design in battle, along with no a number of potent beam and concussive weapons. All combat units are instructed to terminate Aaron on site, preferably in a fashion that will allow salvage of her powered armor suit and weapons. Considerable bounty will go to the unit who delivers Aaron to command. Dead or alive, it matters not. But it certainly won't be alive. So I'll blast you before that happens. I'm hearing scary music. <laughs> Phase on nutrient vat. Elite pirate ration processing in progress. 
quit feeding those bulky monstrosities, man. Another door. Another vat. Oh my god, there's so much here. Who is that? Hey! You're new! Ice Trooper with Ice Beam technology. And you stole it from me. And you're weak to it. Okay. Hang on. Hold your, hold your butt. Oh, the ice beam is so slow. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> Scary. My word. Consumption of elite nutrient mix by non-elite units is strictly prohibited. Failure to comply will result in a 50% ration reduction for a DECA cycle. Don't lose those rations, pirates. Security level Tau will be in effect until further notice. All leaves cancelled pending downgrade of alert status. Bioform Samus Aaron continues to assault our holdings on Talon 4. Security has been compromised in multiple other areas. Casualty rates are rising. Command has authorized a sizable bounty for the capture or termination of Aaron. Report to your field officers for details. Science team is attempting to reverse engineer Samus Aaron's arsenal, based off her data acquired from her assaults on our forces. Progress is slow but steady. Command would dearly enjoy turning Aaron's weapons against her. We believe we can implement beam weapon prototypes in three cycles. Aaron's power suit technology remains a mystery, especially the curious morph ball function. Yeah, it's also a mystery to me, and I'm Samus. All attempts at duplicating it have ended in disaster. <laughs> Four test subjects were horribly broken and twisted when they engaged in morph ball prototypes. Science team wisely decided to move on after war. <laughs> oh, that's the greatest. I like that. <laughs> you tried to do morph ball and they got crushed. Oh lord. You stupid pirates. <laughs> How many are there? You cut it out, pirate. You stop it now. Oh wow. Can't even use my one two punch. Evaluation of plasma artillery cannons is complete. The weapons are fully functional, but a flaw has been discovered. Subpar thermal seat shielding gives them a high heat signature. This could make them easily. <laughs> Easier to target for enemies with enhanced vision capabilities, like a me. Computer systems compromised. Bioform Samus Aran has cracked our systems. The hunter can access our system at will and is able to bypass most of our security programs. The use manual locking systems when possible. <gasps> okay. I'm just trying to read all of this in like one breath. It's uh, kind of difficult. Facility commands request for elite pirate transfer. For uh, two security forces granted. Prepare units, EPG, what happened to you? And happy to be for field duty at once. Uh oh, two units. I only fought one unit. Metroid aggression levels are rising. Be alert for any attempts by Metroids to escape from quarantine areas. Their energy absorption ability is not able to disrupt our force fields, but continued exposure to Phazon may change things for the worse. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Reports on hunter activity are in. Analysis indicated that the hunter in, is using morph ball technology to infiltrate our facilities. Recalibrate sensors to search for morph ball energy signatures. <laughs> what does a morph ball energy signature look like exactly? Sir, this signature is strange. It's, it's round and moving in a ball way. Uh. Just write it down in the logs. Someone will take care of it. Phazon infused fungal harvesting continues. Replacement of deca... Tri... Tri... Tick... Deca... Triticle... Kale? Tri... Triticle... Kale? Uh, is happening. With Phazon infused fungal matter, an elite ration mix has been authorized. My god. Security requests deployment of elite pirates in Metroid quarantine areas. The high casualties suffered by standard pi uh, pirate units deployed in Metroid areas is not acceptable. Oh jeez. 
Reconfiguration of security drones authorized. Deploy new drones to mission critical areas immediately. Don't do that. I've already noticed there's a lot more drones. <laughs> Force field offline access granted. Oh dear. There's a door below and a door above. We have come to another dead end. It is clear now that we will never discover the locations of the Chozo's artifacts. <laughs> Excuse me. Until we can decipher the messages carved into the statues in this abominable temple. Our language databases are woefully inadequate and our linguistic analysts can come up with little more than vague theories. Our best hypothesis that we can offer is that finding artifacts will require items spiritually, spiritually linked to the Chozo civilization. However, without these items, we are lost. The command grows more impatient by the day. Results must be produced soon. <laughs> Good luck! You space pirates don't know anything about Chozo. There is so much lore in this room. <laughs> it's killing me. Although we are still no closer to finding the artifacts of the Chozo, we have uh, at least produced a viable hypothesis for their function. It appears that each of the artifacts corresponds to one of the statues on the temple platform, and that each one acts as a small key to a huge lock. Judging by the number of statues, we assume there must be 12 artifacts. Once we find the resting spots of all 12, we can bring them here, unite them with their statues, and open the gate system at long last. Once we do, the impact crater and whatever creature it shelters will be ours for the taking, and for killing of us. You can't even control your basic creatures. You want this huge creature? Come on, space pirates. Results are in from field studies on the bioform group Chozo who are believed are, are extinct. They believe are extinct. The Chozo are extinct. Oh, I guess I guess that's may, might be true. <laughs> we believe that Talon 4 was once a stronghold in a great Chozo empire, brought low by the meteor strike. Planetary devastation brought an end to the Chozo, yet remnants of their society remain. We are studying these relics in an attempt to harness their power. What is of no use to us, we destroy. In time, we shall have all what we need from this dead race and shall wipe this planet clean of their ugly ruins. The dead should serve the living, not hinder them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I hate you space pirates. You so mean. Replacement of standard hatch covers continues. Steel covers will be replaced with cordite and bendesium covers in two decades. Thanks a lot. Planetary stealth technology is back online. We have evaded detection by the battle cruiser Emmons. The brief lapse in planetary security caused by the crash of our frigate is over. Now we can concentrate our efforts on the hunter. Wait, are you telling me the Galactic Federation could have seen you guys? Are they on their way? Increase phase on portion of elite pirate ration by 18%. Don't do it. They're too big. Report any signs of ration rejection by elites at once. Does that mean they have to write down whenever they go to the bathroom? There have been numerous incidents involving spectral entities at Chozo ruin sites. Several personnel have been assaulted by these Chozo ghosts. Few have survived. Survivors speak of swift attacks from nowhere, brief sightings of the enemy, then nothing, only to be followed by another attack. Science team believes the attacks are in response to our efforts to recover Chozo relics and artifacts. Somehow these entities are able to interact with the physical world, and it appears they wish to keep their artifacts to themselves. We will make them pay for such arrogance, for even ghosts can be destroyed. Make them pay for their insolence. <laughs> oh god, last one. <laughs> Analysis continues on these cursed ruins and the Chozo temple that hovers near them. We are now completely certain that the containment field denying us access to the impact crater is linked to strange artifacts that belong in the temple. But we are no closer to finding them or deciphering the riddles that seem to cover every wall of the ruined place of this ruined place. Command grows increasingly anxious for a resolution to this matter. So we must redouble our efforts. X-ray squadrons will begin terrain sweeps within days until they begin. Patrols are instructed to report any and all 
architectural anomalies to their commanders. Uh, uh, so much reading. Interesting information. So much reading. Alright, uh, should I check the lower floor first? It's the first one we got to. I think I will. Thank you very much. Hello. Where am I going? Oh, a rock slide. And that looks like Bendesium explode. Yep. He was telling me too. It's like, can we some of that Bendesium exploder? Got any of that Bendesium exploder? Holy poop. <laughs> I didn't think a room would have more lore than the the space pirate research facilities. But this room alone had a bazillion. A bazillion. It's like both rooms in one. Uh Hello? Ooh, it's a giant fan-like room with a giant fan upon its surface here. Uh oh Poisonous gas! Oh. Puffers. Calm down there, Puffer. Um. I should probably get out of this room. Am I supposed to turn this on? Ventilation fan is functional but offline. Must be nearby. Um. Yeah, must be, huh? There's clear air flowing from this magnesium grate. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. Yikes. Uh oh. <laughs> Metroids from the initial batch have matured to hunter phase. Be advised that the hunter metroid is a, has a siphon tentacle. It can attack with it from a distance, as opposed to the close combat tactic used by younger metroids. But the younger ones can just charge you down. Doesn't really save you much, much safety there. Increased aggression levels observed in latest elite pirate units. Increasing phase on feed by 0.07% per science team mandate. Wouldn't that make them more aggressive? Metroid activity is accelerating in non-frigid areas. Uh-oh, like this one? Who's making noise? It's you! Ah, wrong one. I always do the wrong one. Woo. Oh, I thought you were gonna die. How wrong I was. Not done yet. Security breaches in multiple areas. Unauthorized usage of resources continues. Patterns suggest that these resources are being stolen by the hunter. Increased monitoring of all resource facilities immediately. Recon teams are searching for the hunter's gunship. Science team believes it employs a sophisticated cloaking device beyond our capabilities. Aside from dumb luck, we may never discover its location. We must contain or eliminate Aaron. Failure to comply with command decree is not an option. How can they not find it? It's like right outside their crashed frigate. <laughs> it's like... It's like just a couple rooms away. Actually. Thank you for not moving. Force field offline, access is granted. 
power surges detected. Within mining compound. Hey, that's where I am. Wow, that's like the very next room. Almost. <laughs> Good. I'm on the very rightest of tracks. For once. Very skin then. Okay. Uh, please don't wake up. You look like you want to wake up. All available troopers report to Mine Security Command. Oh, please. There's so many in here. Oh my god. Yeah. Ooh, around the corner. <laughs> There's three of them in here. Elite pirate. Scramble all aerial units immediately. Flight pattern Sigma 4 is in effect. <laughs> Flight pattern. Increase bamboo patrols in authorized areas. Oh, those bamboo are a space pirate thing? I thought they were creatures. Our enemies will tremble before the might of our elite forces. Unauthorized Metroid feeding is strictly prohibited. Death to the hunter, death to all who oppose us. Oh my god. Test results from battle simulation Samus Aaron are promising. Elite units report a 74% success ratio against Aaron in testing. Really? High command is pleased but ex expects a higher ratio by project center. Recording to logbook. Recording to logbook. Elite pirate Upsilon's propensity for Phazon has enabled our research team to infuse it far beyond our safety restrictions and the results have been extremely encouraging. Its constant Phazon diet has increased its mass exponentially, but it has retained all mental faculties and shows dexterity with all elite weaponry, including plasma incendiary launchers and the chameleon manta uh, issued for cloaking purposes. Elite Pirate Upsilon exhibits miraculous healing abilities when injured. It seeks out Phazon deposits and coats itself in the substance which instantly mends the creature's wounds. The subject, which are codenamed Omega Pirate, based on these developments, shows potential to be a new standard for our armies. Our only concern at this point is its potential over-dependence on phasing. That sounds really scary to me. Unit ident code ba bap bap Another elite pirate, of course. Old poop. Thank you for not... Awakening from your slumbars. I wonder what was right across the way. This is clearly where I need to go. So I kind of want to see what's over there. <laughs> oh my god. And actually, this part's been going for a very long time. Lots of reading. Probably ended pretty quick here. Hmm. Nothing? Okay. Good. That means there's only one way to go. Boop! Oh god. Oh no! That one's already free! Cryo sleep tank. Oh boy. Hello? <gasps> uh oh. Yeah, this room doesn't look dangerous at all. Okay, I'm just gonna scan these last two things. <laughs> Phase on processing and security systems are taxing the dynamo beyond safety tolerances. Though the conversion to geothermal power is easing the drain on our systems, it is not enough. Further power use at current levels could lead to system failure. Uh-oh. Dynamo maintenance team is not responding to service call. Rerouting request to central command. Oh boy. Yeah, this room looks a dot dangerous. Uh, okay. 
yeah, I'm just gonna leave that for next time, I think. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.